All right. If you are a ClickFunnels user, you have likely heard in the in the groups or um, in various other forums and chats when somebody asks a question and they're like, I can't find how to change this element uh, in the editor. A lot of people say, oh, that's just a quick bit of custom CSS code. At that point, a lot of people's heads just explode. They end up just not making changes uh, and their funnels look look goofy, right? Or they, they don't look the way that they want them to look. And, and that's not okay, right? So if you spend all this time and money and energy on your funnel, it should be exactly the way you want it to be. Uh, you know, you want to maximize conversions and don't let a little thing like CSS keep you from doing that. Now, I am not an expert at CSS. I'm going to show you how to basically hack the process and make it easier. But if you don't have time and you have more money than time, it's okay to just outsource this to somebody, you know, somebody who's ClickFunnels certified, or you can even find someone who's a CSS expert on, you know, Upwork or Fiverr or whatever. I don't know. I, I like to do things myself um, because I know that I'm going to use this over and over and over again for the rest of my career as a, as an internet uh entrepreneur. So I wanted to learn it. And if you want to learn it as well, that's awesome. Uh, let's get into it. So within the editor, you can do a ton of stuff. And this editor looks different. This looks old because it's uh, a membership site. So the membership editor looks different now than other pages do. I imagine that this will update soon. But for right now, it, it, it's a little bit uh, behind. But I, I want to show you the example of, of an element that you can't control in ClickFunnels uh, editor as, as completely as, as you'd like. Most things you can, but this you really can't. So with, I want to change this font up here at the top for my links. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that bad. Um, but I want it to be Oswald. Uh, so I, I, and I want to at least be able to see what Oswald font looks like right now. This is the default, uh, which is Roboto condensed when you don't, I'm sorry, the default that I selected the default for click funnels is another, is a different font. Um, and, and a lot of people just leave that font up there and it just doesn't usually look good. Uh, it doesn't pair well with the other fonts and there's no, there's no shame in wanting your fonts to look nice. Right. So, so don't be, uh, don't overlook things like that, that, you know, aren't, aren't, uh, uh, representative of your brand, right? Don't get hung up on them forever, but don't just, don't, uh, don't skip over these things forever. So let's go here. So what we want to do. So first thing, if you just wanted a simple font change, you could do, you could just go here to global text and font settings and you can change it right here. So if I wanted to, I could change that Roboto condensed to Roboto mono and then boom, it's changed. But what if I only want to change that element, right? So let's go to global text. Let's put it back to the way it was because I want the default to be that Roboto condensed. But let's say that I want this to be something different. Now, look, when I try to change the element, there is no option for font on the links. You can change font size, but you can't change the actual font. So what do we do for that? So what we need is a bit of custom CSS. Now, CSS is, so you know, it's just like a language that basically tells your websites how to look. It works with HTML uh, and, and it makes sure that the different, the, the back end of the site is doing what you want it to and looking the way, I'm sorry, it, it's back end stuff that ends up making the front end of the site look a certain way. There's different types of CSS codes. Some of them are crazier than others. Some of them are real flashy, but some of them are as basic as changing a font. So with this one, we're doing a very basic uh, change. We're just going to change a font. Anything that's beyond that, it would take me quite a while to figure out. Like I said, I am not a CSS expert. So the first thing you want to do is go to w3schools.com down here. Go to w3schools.com. Let me reload the page to show you what it looks like. And then you're going to come to references. Now I'm going to show you how to get the, the selector. The selector is basically what uh, we're changing or the element that we're changing and the reference is what we're changing it to. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to, uh, well, let's save this. Let's come back to this in a second. So ClickFunnels does make this part easy for us. 
the element ID, this is the part that we're going to change. So this is the part that we're going to start our uh, code with, right? So this is what this is going to be the beginning of our custom CSS. So I'm going to click on custom CSS, go to the top here, and then put a space and a squiggly bracket. And then press return or enter. Right. And then since I want to change the font, we're going to, I already know the code just because this is one of the few ones I actually do. So I just put font and then a semicolon. I'm sorry, a colon. But for you, since you're new, um, and even for me, a lot of the changes I make, I don't, I don't know off the top of my head. Um, so I would have to come here and I would go to CSS reference. And here's where I can find examples of these codes in action. So here I would go to property groups. Let's go to fonts. And then let's go to font. And this is an example of that code and how it should look. So we could just copy that. So ignore this part because this, this right here is the selector. We want the reference. So we're going to do that. I'm going to come over here and just to, to cheat, let's just paste that right here. And now let's, let's real quickly, let's, uh, let's put a squiggly bracket there to end the code. I chose a bad font for the example, but this one is slightly wider than the Roboto condensed. The S is just a little bit wider and so are all the other letters, but you can barely tell on this, but I promise you it's changed. So we know that this is the, the format that we need, right? So let's go ahead in here and put, so remember, this is what it looks like now. Let's go back here, our custom CSS, and let's put in that Oswald font. I'm going to press enter, and now let's see if it took. Boom. See how it's different? Let's see if we can do it with another font. Let's put papyrus. I, I don't know if it's a supported font. Yeah, it is. That's it. That's, that's the font that they used in avatar. <laughs> All right. So that's how you do a simple font change. Now I want to show you one other way to find the selector, um, from within click funnels. So remember, like I said, you can get that. Let me change that before I accidentally leave papyrus. So let's do that as Oswald. Again, it should update immediately. Good. And then we can also, if we decide to remove it, just cut that back to normal. All right, so let me show you one other way to get the selectors. So remember this, sorry. This is the element ID is the same as our selector, but let me show you another way to get that. Uh, if you want to do this on a different type of website, you would come up here. I'm in Google Chrome. I'm going to right click coming. I'm going to come down here to inspect and it's going to bring this up. This is going to be kind of overwhelming. So bear with me and I need to scroll down through all of this code and find the one that is the list class because this is a list and it will, it'll highlight this element. So I'm going to right click on that little uh, downward uh, arrow triangle thing, come down to copy. And remember, I need the selector, the element ID and the selector are the same thing. So let's copy that selector. All right, now let's go back to our custom CSS. Now we don't need any of this other stuff. We just need this part. This is navigation UL. So we just want this. We don't even need that bracket. So we're going to put a squiggly bracket and then we can do exactly what we did before and put in the changes we want to make to the text. We can do um, font type. We can do color, all that good stuff.